What is up, people? Van from the Vanverse Gaming Channel with another video. Iron Mutant, very hard mode for Mutant Year Zero. Uh, last episode, we got our butts handed to us pretty bad. Um, we ended up getting through it. I really thought that the series was going to end right then and there because of the Iron Mutant mode, but we made it through. So we're going to buy some stuff here, get upgraded, and then we're going to go to the next area. So you can see I already purchased uh, three more med kits. Five is usually what I like to keep. We're going to go into Prip's place here. And we're going to pick up one of these new new things from our artifact points. We can do improved med kits plus three hit points when we heal during combat. Or we can add increased grenade damage by four. Or we can do an additional 10% crit chance to mechanical. So we're already, our Molotovs are going to do a lot of damage if we can increase grenade damage by four. And this adds another fire damage to Molotovs per turn. That's going to do some pretty significant damage, and that might help us later on. We hope not to have to use medkits in the actual fight, so we're going to go this route. And then let's go to Deltas. So Here those zone dogs are getting big. we have already upgraded our this weapon to three. Our choices are to upgrade some of our main weapons to two or to... Um, or to upgrade or wait and try and upgrade another one of our pistols. So if you do all of them up to six, then that's only 18 damage. And we're going to get to a point here where it's just not going to be enough to kill them with silent weapons. So at this point, I'm probably going to upgrade one of these. I can either do this to a eight damage, 11 crit. This one would do nine damage, 12 crit. Um, and then this one is really not so good right now, so we can try and upgrade that as well. Right now, her pistol does more damage than her long-range weapon. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to upgrade this one. And we're going to also take off all of our, our weapon enhancements, and we're going to check them out here. And now's the time where we can also... Um, we can also dis dismantle this. We don't need this anymore. Okay, so this is Magnus. You got Selma. You got Ducks, and you got Borman. So what's going to happen is we're probably going to use Magnus for most of the rest of the game because of his abilities, which we'll get into here in a second. Um, and then we'll swap out Selma for certain other things. I might even use uh, Magnus and Selma and skip Ducks. All right, so... Let's look here. So we have a scope that has 10 crit. This one has 30 weapon range, 15 crit, 30 weapon range, 20% weapon range. So for her boomstick, I'm going to do the 30% weapon range. That'll give it a range of 10. But I'm wondering if it does, if it really matters. Range of 10. So at 20 or 30, it's still a 10 range. So that's what we're going to use. And then we have a chance of burning, knockdown, disable, or burning. So let's add knockdown. Okay. And then on the pistol, we're going to do crit chance. So this one's crit damage is 6. This one's crit damage is 7. And this one's crit damage is six. So this is the one we're going to put the highest crit chance. Or crit, yeah. So we'll put a 15 on that one. And then on the damage, we'll add burning, because why not, right? Same with this one. We're going to do 10% extra crit chance. And we're going to add disable robotics on that one. And then on this... Might as well add a weapon range. It doesn't matter at this point. And then burning. So that's pretty good right there. I like that. Take it easy. All right. So let's get to the next area we're going to go. So at this point, you can choose to go into the Iron Serpent and then start going up here. Or you can choose to come over here and go into this unexplored location. So obviously this is too far. One of these... We're going to just go over here to this unexplored location. So we're going to go to the House of Bones. And then we're going to swap out our good friend Magnus into our party. Because he's actually going to be very helpful to us. 
And then we're going to knock out this zone over here. All right, so let's go to our inventory here. So you can see that we're all still hurting from the previous fight. So I'm going to have to suck down three more potions quick, or three more med kits. But before I do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to unequip everything off of her. Um, actually, I'm trying to remember in this fight if there's any robotic guys. So I think I do have to take Selma out of the group. Uh, we'll leave ducks. So we're going to take Selma out. And we're going to swap her out for, we have to um, equip something in her main hand. So we're going to swap her out for Magnus. So now if we look at Magnus, he is going to be ru running with this and the new pistol. And then for him, let's, he already has a fire grenade, so we'll do that one. And for ducks, we'll do a fire grenade as well. Oh man, for Borman, he needs another destroy, and then maybe one of those. All right, and then for Magnus, let's put on his his abilities here. Okay, and then let's go to his mutations. So for him, this telekinesis shield, 25 chance to pull bullets out of the sky, is very nice. Um, we don't really need to use this, but we have to open up the next one. And then Puppeteer is almost a must. You can control an organic enemy. That's almost a must. And then you can also do the running gun. And then he's good to go. So let's go here. He doesn't have any of that. So we'll use med pack for him. Med pack for him. Okay. And then if you look at these mutations, we're pretty good. Let's see what else he has available at this point. So his choices are Stone Skin or Corpse Eater, or I can start going down this road. I truly am probably going to start going down this road with him, because I don't need any more of that other stuff. And then with Ducks, he has... This is a 50% chance to crit when shooting from high ground. This is a passive. He currently does not have a passive, so this is going to be good for us. And then he has a major mutation and then a different pass. Double crit chance when shooting whilst hidden um, versus high ground. So at this point, this is probably the passive. I don't know. We're not going to buy anything else with him just yet. Then with him, we're going to probably get a couple other items with him. So he has his passive, he has his major, and he has his minor. All right. So I think we're good, right? Everyone has everything they need. Everyone's ready to go. All right. Let's just double check and make sure that his mutations are set. I didn't check. Yep. Uh, that's got to be that one. Okay. Okay. All right. So this, I believe, is the zone where there are some level 45 zone dogs in this corner over here. We are not going to kill them, that is for sure. But just like every other time, we're going to run around the outskirts, see if we can pick off anybody, and then as well as, um, you know, see what kind of guys are the whole, the whole nine yards. I don't even know what level this area is. If it's too high, then we'll just go to a different area. We had two choices, actually, to go to, and we chose this one. Uh, what am I saying? This is the House of Bones. We need to go through this. I'm, I'm thinking I'm in the, um, in the next zone. So never mind what I was saying there. We got to go to the next zone first. It's also, I believe, a snow zone, which is why I was confused for a second. All right. Yep. This is where we had such a good run until the end. That last boss fight, we played very badly and almost wiped it all out. All right, this is where we want to go, right here. This is the zone that has the zone dogs. All right. Have you heard that old legend? Two star-crossed lovers, Iza and Thala, ran away to a lost palace. 
Seems to be around here. Who thinks this is the palace up ahead? Was that the legend about Isa and Fala and all the loot they were hiding away in the Lost Palace? Because that's the story I'm interested in. These star-crushed lovers better have some supplies. We need them. All right. So we'll check this out here. If I remember correctly, yep, this might be the one where there are several electronic bot guys. Just what I need. A bunch of metal men looking for trouble. Probably the ones who killed all these ghouls. So we have um, we have Dux's ability, so we can probably take this guy out. So let's try it. So let's get Dux in range. Okay, and then let's use our circuit breaker and hope it doesn't miss. Okay, so now he's pretty much out of the fight and we can finish him off. So we'll do Magnus, switch out our weapon. Okay. And then Borman can come right here, switch out his weapon. Okay. And then turn over and then done deal. Okay. So now we definitely want to check the remainder of the area because we have to reset Circuit Breaker um, before we fight another bot. Or we can use our Hog Rush and then we'd have to reset Hog Rush. So any regular humans we could pick off would be fantastic so we can get some of our cooldowns reset. Here's another one of those Enforcer Bot guys. Hopefully we can get around before he gets to us. Okay, good. Because I don't want to... I don't want to fight him right now. All right, let's see what else is over this way. There's obviously no zone to zone into from here. Uh, we can climb up here to see what's going on. So, so far we took out one bot and we have a Marauder and a Hunter right there. Let's see what we have down here. All right, so we have an artifact there. That's cool. I don't see anything hiding over here. Okay, and it looks like we have a shaman, a hunter, and a tank. So this will be our first tank fight, which is why Magnus is so important. Um, so we definitely don't want to fight them yet. So the question is, can we get to these guys up here? Now that the bot is gone. So let's see. Well, look at that. Is a Fala. The fairy tales are true, huh? Alright. So if we come up here, heads are hiding we have a marauder and a hunter up here. Um so let's oh boy, let's jump down. Before he gets too close I don't know if there's any more out here so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go out in the zone a little bit further just to make sure there's not anybody else that could hear us and then we're gonna stealth kill those two guys up there and then that should reset my circuit breaker and give me the ability to uh, to kill the bot Okay, yeah, so this is where the zone dogs are, so we're not going to go there. They're level 45, so we'll come back when we have a better, uh, when we're higher level, because we're only 23 right now. But I do want to check one more section. And then after I check this last section, we are going to go and take out the two guys up on the roof. I might actually take out the... Um, yeah, because we're just back here. Okay. So what we might end up doing here, the shaman is, is traveling. So there's a good chance we might be able to get the shaman as well. All right. 
So let's do the Marauder first. We know that he comes over here. So we're going to go over into this corner over here and wait for him. Hopefully he doesn't path. If he does, we'll just kind of run off. Don't worry about your guys. They can't be seen if they're running around, okay? So we'll stand here in this corner until he gets to his spot, and then we'll kill him first. All right. So now he's there. All right. So Borman, easy peasy. We'll just move him right here. Make sure to have the right quiet weapon. Move the next person. We're a little far away, so I'm a little concerned here because I don't think I'm going to have a 100% chance with my good friend. Oh, does that hurt? Come on, Magnus. Hopefully you have 100%. You are a little far. Yep, still 100, so that's good. Okay. So we got him down. So now we should be able to take out the uh, the hunter right here. And then once we take him out, let's wait for the shaman to kind of go away. Then we might we should be able to get the shaman as well. Um, and then that should reset our circuit breaker so that we can go take out the, um, the bot. All right, so I think we're good here. So always make sure you have the right weapon on. Ooh, that was a crit. Nice. Ducks. Hopefully the shaman doesn't hear us. He is below us, and we are using all silent weapons. So he shouldn't, but if he does, it might change how we're going to do the rest of this fight. So he's dead. You ain't half bad for a newbie. Okay, back me up. All right, so let's wait for the shaman to come in the building. So we're going to come down here and wait for the shaman. And then once the shaman comes in the building, we're going to take him out silently. And then we should be able to go take out the bot with our circuit breaker. And then that'll save our hog rush and our... Um, and our mind control for the last fight. Alright, so let's get within range here. Should be fine since we're straight on. He shouldn't have any defense. Alright, so we'll go here. And both of them should be far enough away where this should not cause them to hear us. <clears throat> okay. So now we'll get Magnus right here. Nice and quiet. Ooh, nice crit again. Man, two crits in a row. My man. And then finish it off with Borman. Ooh. Okay. Sweet. So let's regroup. Now we're going to come out here. We're going to kill this bot. And then we're going to get back up on the roof to finish that, that fight with the tank and the boss. All right. So now we got the bot here. This one should be no problem unless I miss, you know, RNG. I could miss my circuit breaker at any time. And if I miss that, then it'll be a problem. Okay, fun. good. So at this point, he has 26 health, um, but he is out of commission for two whole turns. So there should be no reason why we can't kill him. Also, he's really far away. So what might happen is we may have to um, use our loud weapon on him, but I think it'll be okay. Let's try it. Not yet. Actually, let's start with um, ducks first. Okay, and then Magnus. All right, and then let's let's risk it. Let's use our boomstick. 
and see if it wakes anybody. Donut. Nope. So we're good. We're far enough away where they can't hear it. Okay. Cool. Regroup. All right. So now we'll get up on top here. And then that should be the perfect because the tank charges and knocks people down. And I don't think we have anything to prevent us from getting knocked down at this point. Um, so that'll be a problem if he charges and knocks them down. But having being up here will be really nice. And then we also have our charm from our, um, from what's his face? He has the charm, Magnus. So that'll help. So we have a hunter, we have a tank, and we have the boss. That's pretty much what we got going on here. So we're going to put him there. And then we're probably going to put him right here. And then him right here. And then what we're going to do is, I don't know where the boss is. He might not even be here. So let's start this fight. And we're going to use the tank as our mind control. So I'm going to activate and I'm going to mind control. Actually, I'm going to mind control the hunter because he has a 50% chance. So we're going to mind control the hunter. And between us and the hunter, we're going to kill the tank. And then the tank's going to focus on the hunter as well. So he's going to focus all of his damage on the hunter, which is really good for us. And I don't know where the boss guy is, but he's not he's not getting in the fight, so that's good. Okay. So now it's his turn. He's going to knock him down and shoot him. So that's good, because then we don't have to take out the hunter, because he's going to do all the work for us. Crits because of being up on the high ground. Okay, now it's time to open up my big guns. Alright. Same with Borman. Okay. And then he should not he should kill the hunter or get him pretty close right here. So when the hunter loses charm next round, it's it's a done deal. So let's see, do I have a range on him from here? Yeah, I do. Okay, so now since I killed him, the hunter is now going to be no longer mind controlled. And now we can finish off the hunter. Okay, so there is a boss somewhere around here. So I don't really want to, I don't really want to um, go anywhere just yet. Because I could have swore there's a wandering boss. I just don't know where he is. Um... I could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure he's probably around the corner. Let's see. I am wrong, I guess. I could have swore he was, but oh well. I don't see anyone. All right, well, let's use Borman just to be sure. Uh, maybe I'm done. Maybe I was wrong. I could have swore they had a boss guy here, but... I've been wrong before. If we find him, we'll know. So let's see what's in here. I'll leave the other two in their position just in case. All right, so we got another pipe gun. We don't really need because it's really not as good as I think the guns we have. All right, we'll pick up the artifact, get this cold box. We saw a note about this once before. Um... More weapon parts. We're up to 39. And then I'm just going to take one more sweep to see if this guy is around here. I could have swore there was one, but again, I could always be wrong. I guess not. I think it might be in another zone. So there we go. That was a pretty easy, clean fight. No damage. Um, full health with everyone. Quite impressed. Quite... Uh, 
quite excited after the last one that we did that went really, really, really bad. So that's a nice change. So let's, uh, we'll finish up here. We will port over now to the tracks and we will go on from there. So we're going to regroup everybody. We're going to un unhide. And there we go. Okay. Stay back, guys. Stay back. And I don't see any more loot. I think we got everything. Yep. All right. So that's it for this episode. Um, we'll just run through here, make sure we didn't miss any of the stuff on the ground. And then we'll see you guys in the next episode where we're probably going to jump over to... We're ready for the Iron Serpent now. So that's where we're going to head. Uh, if you like this, just give her a like. Leave any comments below, questions you might have. Um, and then we'll go from there. This is Van from the Vaniverse Gaming Channel. Thanks for watching. Cheers and peace out.